this episode we're going to make some resistor wheel sets for N gauge wheels but this method will equally work for double O and HO wheels. So why do we need resistor wheel sets? Well if you are using current sensing block detection resistor wheel sets allow a wagon or a coach to be detected when in a block as in this example here. You can see the signals operating as the wagon goes in and out of the block. So what materials do we need? Some blue tack to hold the wheel, some wheels with metal tyres, I use the Pico wheels, some tweezers for working with the resistors, some super glue, a couple of cocktail sticks, some resistors but more about them later, and some conductive paint and I'll talk more about that later as well. Just to point out the wheels either come with this plastic coated axle or uh, just a full metal axle. Both wheel sets are fine to use. It is important to clean the wheels as some wheels seem to have a, a coating and it's important that we have a good electrical conductivity between the wheel tyre and the rail. I use this fibre pencil because it's not too abrasive but really good for cleaning wheels and rails etc. We need to make sure we also clean the back of the wheel. Okay, and here are the surface mount resistors. The bigger resistor is a size 805 and a smaller one a size 603. And today we're going to use a smaller 603 for the N gauge wheels. And I'm not going to lie, they are small at 1.6 millimeters by 0.8 millimeters. And for double O and HO, you would use the larger of the two resistors here, the 805. Okay, let's get started. So we start by removing the resistor from the strip and tipping it onto the bench so we can pick it up with the tweezers. The next thing is to put some super glue onto a piece of cardboard or something similar because I find it easier to dip the resistor into the super glue to have more control. And now the fiddly bit, mounting the resistor onto the wheel itself. This can take a few goes to get it right. Once the glue has dried, scrape away any excess glue from the resistor terminals using a model knife or similar. In terms of the paint, I have used both types of paint, the bare conductive carbon based paint and also the electrically silver uh, paint. I do find the silver paint much better with more reliable results. However, it is two to three times more expensive. So let's start applying the conductive paint. I use a cocktail stick and normally if I'm not filming it's easier because the cocktail stick's vertical and the paint runs to the tip. So it's a little bit more difficult with it horizontal but you can see just gently apply the paint to make sure we get contact with the resistor and the wheel tyre itself. Spread the paint around the tyre to make sure we've got a good surface area for contact. Be careful not to bridge uh, the two terminals on the resistor else we'll get a short circuit. With the plastic axles, we also need to paint along the axle, making sure we get paint on the resistor terminal on this side as well. If you are using metal axles, you would just need to put a, some paint between the axle and the resistor terminal to make the contact. And then we can turn the wheel round and paint the other side. You can see here the importance of shaking the paint before use. It wasn't quite mixed properly and I had to mix it up on the wheel itself to make sure we got a good distribution of the silver. Once the paint has dried we're testing for two things. One that we haven't got a short circuit and two that we have got 10,000 ohms on the wheel set. If you're unlucky enough to have a short circuit gently scrape the paint away between the two terminals on the resistor and then test it again. Okay and that's the wheel set finished. I do like to test it in an actual wagon itself so I get the real weight uh, on the wheels on the track because if you just put the wheels on the track there won't be enough weight to make a good contact. Now we can test the resistance again with the wagon on the track and as you can see 10k or 10,000 ohms. You will get a bit of a tolerance because all resistors have a tolerance. And so there we go, resistor wheel sets completed. Please like and subscribe for more content like this.